What is up YouTube? I'm back once again with another DIY Tesla Power update video. Now you may have seen from the last video I had my 16 new SunTech solar panels. Um, so this is kind of like a follow up video from that video talking about the parts I have ordered in and basically the new solar charge controller and charging that I'm doing with testing batteries and stuff. So hopefully you guys do enjoy this video. Please give it a like and uh, let's just get straight into it. So basically from all my other videos you may have seen I've been using the same multimeter since probably like a year and a half ago so I finally got a new one um this is a lot more accurate it was like 60 bucks it's got temperature readings it can do 20 amps uh amperage testing and stuff like that so it's really nice um it's got an interesting backlit display and stuff like that but yeah that'll be good a bit more accurate with our uh, testing cells and stuff like that also got some new crimp connectors um, that'll be for the ends of the batteries which I'm planning on doing soon once I have all the cells tested some bolts and stuff to hold the bullet shelves up for the batteries and then a RJ45 5 connector inline connector I guess you call it a coupler so that that'll just be used for connecting my two ethernet cables together so I can run on the com connector to my house so I can monitor this um, inside I could get the Wi-Fi module but I'm Oh, it's too expensive. Anyway, then I've got battery charger, which is charging up cells for testing. And I'll probably do a bit more of an in-depth video on testing cells, so um, I may have a link in the description for that. But other than that, I've got 23 volts. This is obviously the new controller. It's got a backlight compared to the other one. It's 40 amps. But pretty much nothing's coming in right now. 73 volts, PV, 0.7 amps. Uh, and yeah, it's charging tip with two amps, so it's not too much. People may get freaked out by that sitting on the battery, but it's it's insulated. Um, it's not touching any of the metal. Um, this is a very jaggedy setup. You can see it's zip tied together. But for the last couple of days, I've been testing it. I don't want to finalize anything yet on the power wall. I still want to just test it out, see how it works. Um, I was a bit iffy if this would even cut it, so I might have to get a second 40 amp and um, run them in parallel or something like that with the panels, the new panels I have. Pretty much all these cells need testing I've done this much, um, so that's all off in that direction. Pretty much nothing's changed, as I've said in the last video, I've got a lot of parts in now, so I'm pretty much just going to be testing cells, trying to get the panels all hooked up, uh, getting the MC4 connectors, which are all here, so I've got um, 20 pairs of those, they will be going onto the panels. That's good because they're waterproof, before I wasn't using the proper connectors, so now I'm going to redo all my panels, I've already said I'm going to do a video on that, I'm showing you guys how to do that. But yeah, so I'm like going forward. I'm gonna try and do this like properly now with the proper connectors, um, the ch proper charge controller, um, more solar panels, um, more batteries. So pretty much just more of everything. That's the box for the controller there. So it's the new Tracer AN series controller uh, with the back on the box. It looks kind of different with the screen, but uh, I'm not too worried about that. But yeah, um, I'm gonna stop rambling on. Um, that is pretty much it. Stay tuned for the next video. I'll be doing um, the solar panel changing the connectors video. So if you guys are keen to watch that, then I guess you can tune in for that. But that's pretty much it. Please give this video a like and subscribe for more DIY Tesla Power Update videos. And I'll see you guys in the next video.